Hey guys, welcome back. So this is part two of a declutter that I just did. So we just finished decluttering these. So I'm going to set these off to the side here um, because we've already gone through them. Already decided in part one what I was going to keep and what I was going to throw away. So my next obstacle is this and I'll show you what's also in the drawers too but peep my side here I used the little magnets I got off Amazon and I put my bobby pins on the side pretty proud of myself for that I saw that on Pinterest I think so here we have lip products um, brow setting spray more lip products and then eyeliners and mascaras so that's my setup here now just gonna go buy um products so we'll do my lip products first and there is quite a bit of them did I just sound British I didn't mean to sound British <laughs> there is quite a bit of them here so we're just gonna go oh cap came off of something I'll find it. Oh, I found it. Haha. <laughs> Which is okay, because I am actually going to declutter this, because I was, was going to put it in my project pan stuff, and I've seen some YouTubers doing this, but then I smelled it, and I love Luna products. Like, I had a highlighter and that I had to get rid of in the last... Um, part and I had an eyeshadow that I kept but this smells like pure crayon wax this smells worse than crayons guys it's old it a uh, buy this Ofra I got in one of the first boxy charms I got so it's not bad I'm keeping it I just got this dose of colors liquid lipstick in the shade nude mood Along with this one in the shade Date Night. I have yet to try Date Night. I've tried Nude Mood. Still trying to figure out how to get them to last. This Victoria's Secret one isn't even opened, but I'm going to keep it to try it. And then my lip liners. This, this gold one is a L'Oreal. And then these two I just got. I just got this one too. I just got this piece in my Black Friday haul, so I'm keeping those. This Victoria's Secret lip oil, it's going goodbye. It's so, oops, I'm sorry guys. It's old and I really wanted to keep it, but I tried it the other day and I probably shouldn't have. I should have just tossed it right then and there. This ColourPop lippy sticks is what I wore in my December boxy charm which I'm recording these in the same day guys this is also part of my project pan I'm keeping that Ooh, that's not supposed to be there we'll go this NYX soft matte lip cream Let's see here, you guys saw my foot. It still smells pretty good, so I'm gonna keep it. And I'll try it. This Wet n Wild, my dog, my mom's dog actually got it. It's a, um, it's a lip gloss, so I'm gonna keep it. I just opened it not too long ago. Um, this Sephora lips. It's a gel gloss, ultra brilliant, ultra shine lip gel. Um, I'm gonna keep this because this was just opened recently. Sephora lipstick. It's a pretty red lip color there, so I am gonna keep it. Ooh, I touched my nose with it. it. Smells. It still smells good. It doesn't smell like wax, which is an indicator that it's bad I'm 
this one um i think i recently just opened as well it's a little darker than what i want but i think i'm gonna keep it um this aurora aura however you say it i'm gonna keep this gonna try it um i think it's this one yeah it's this one. Ooh, it's broke Although it smells like a basic one, I think I'm gonna get rid of it because it it's older and it's really dark. It's not a shade that I use anymore, and I know no one else that I know is gonna use it. This is a lip and cheek tint, and I am gonna keep it because it does make my lips look really good. So there's my finger. Haha. <laughs> So I'm going to keep this one. Um, my Iconic London Lip Plumper. I just got this. So this isn't bad. So I'm going to keep it. And then another NYX. Oh, this one still smells really good too. So I'm going to keep it. It's a really pretty pink color. Um, I'm going to keep it as well. So I didn't get rid of much. But of my stuff that I haven't hadn't already gone through. Um, but I still think it's pretty good. So let's move these on out of the way. And let's. Um, let's go through eyeliners and mascaras. All right. This is a what are you? No, yeah. I was Smashbox eyeliner. And I'm going to keep it because it's really pigmented. It's really black. This one, I think I'm going to give, give a pass along. It's better for, like, my sister who's just starting to get into it and stuff. And it'll last her a long time. We got it in a BoxyCharm. Its value was $7. And it shows, honestly, like, it there's no real pigment to it and stuff and it's something that like new beginners um can use to get the hang of doing eyeliner with is what I feel like so we'll just pass that along so I kept that one this one Precision's eye pencil had this for a long time it's a Victoria's Secret product I'm just gonna get rid of it it's too old shouldn't be on the eyes and then this is a color pop gel liner and I'm gonna keep this because I do like um, color pops formula on that um, this is an urban decay one I'm gonna keep this one as well because it's really pigmented like the Smashbox like they feel really similar in my opinion anyways and then we have this little blue shade um i don't know if i'd ever use blue maybe i'll see if like my someone will want this because i don't i don't ever use blue eyeliner now this eyeliner i do like because it's a lighter shade i have used it a lot like it's almost like a pinky white like it's really good at brightening up my eyes like making them look bam and then here we have a sex litter by Tarte I do like this eyeliner too so I'm gonna keep that um this is a liquid liner I haven't even opened it guys it's in the packaging because I'm not um the biggest fan of liquid liners but 
I'm still trying to learn how to use them. So this is a Clinique one. Um, I'm going to keep to learn with. And this one's not even open either because I just have... I already have two that are open um, that I need to use up. So those will probably go in a project pan just to use up until they're use they're dried or whatever and then we have my mascaras this one's not even open like I haven't even touched it so, but it's pretty cool because you pop the top off and then you flip this and it's an eye curler and then on the other side is your mascara so I have yet to try this. I got this in October BoxyCharm when I wanted the free gift. Gift. This is what came with it as well. This one, I'm just trying to use. I got this in um a BoxyCharm. I want to say August maybe. And it doesn't really like make my eyes pop or anything i think it said on the box it was supposed to be like four times as big as your normal lashes and that was not true for me but i've opened it so i'm just gonna use it then this hank and henry one oh my god guys can you give suggestions for a good eye makeup remover because this sticks like super glue not regular glue super glue like especially when I do my bottom lashes with the one it's a dual sided one so there's the one side of it and then There's the other side, and it's super wet, guys, and it just sticks, like, the whole time, you know, the whole time. And then that red one, it's a NARS one. It's, like, the newer mascara that they just came out with. Um... I'll get to it in a second, guys. Let me just close it. I'm hoping with this um, Hank and Henry one that once I leave it open for a little bit, it'll dry more and it won't be so hard to get off my eyes because, like, it stuck for, like, three days. And then this is the NARS one that I was talking about. Climax is the name of it. I got this as a free sample. Um... No, it was not PR. I found something on Facebook and I signed up for it and they actually sent me this. So that was pretty cool. Although it took like six weeks. Oh my God, it was so long. Like I forgot that I even had it coming. So yeah, those are all my eye products. I, I only got rid of one thing. Oh God, guys. So now let's talk about me brows and then this setting spray oh, I'm just gonna show this to you guys I don't really care for the cucumber scent like it doesn't smell good at all but I've almost used this all up and I like this sprayer a lot better than the other one so I'm just gonna keep it these are the three brow pen <laughs> brow stuff that I have minus the I the no nah, the brow kit the brow bar brow kit that I just got I just got the Anastasia Brow Wiz, so I'm keeping it, and this brow gel isn't even opened, but this, this, guys, let's talk about this for a second. This is the Billion Dollar Brow Micro Blade, and I think this is shit, like, honestly. I know that I do not know how to do my brows at all, but, like... I thought this would be a really cool thing to have as a beginner because, you know, ooh, nice brows. But, like, I don't even see a difference trying to use this. Like, there's nothing there. Like, I used it once and it was good. And the next time it was dried. Like, really? Guys, this is shit. Does anybody else agree? Or am I just like, did I get a bad one? 
in a boxy charm? Did I get a bad one? Because I am kind of upset. Like, I thought this would be really cool. Nope. All right. Now. Let's talk about my ColourPop Brown Sugar. Now, all the other ColourPop products that you've seen, I have gotten in a subscription box or bag. Like, this Sephora, the, um, the, um, Ipsy bag or the Birch Box. I didn't flat out purchase any of them, but this was my first ever, besides the, um, Super Shock Shadows and the Blush. I purchased those myself. Um, this was the first ever purchase that I got. And it's the Brown Sugar PR Package. I paid $75 for it. Guys, this is so cool. Because it's just, bam, right there. Like, it's got the cute little mirror. Uh-huh. And stuff. It's got the drawer with the lips in it. And I love the palette. I love the lit colors. I'm not going to get rid of anything. I just wanted to show you guys. And I'm forever keeping this. This is what the palette looks like. And it's so pretty. So, so pretty. I just did a Thanksgiving look with this. I didn't record it though. But, um. I will probably be doing a whole lot of looks with this. And then these are like the gel the cream gel colors. I don't know if you can really see them very well, but I just don't want to open them. That's a darker one. And there's a lighter one. Like, they're good, like, colors. And then they have the, um, ultra glossy lip. I like these colors, but I don't like the applicator. Uh, and a lot of people don't like them. So maybe ColourPop will change them. And then these. This one's my favorite. This one's butter. I know you guys couldn't see it. Oh, there it goes. There's butter. Butter, butter. That one's a little dark, but I'm still not going to get rid of them. I'm going to try to get out of my comfort zone and use these because these are good products. Like, ColourPop, I love ColourPop. Like, they are good quality for drugstore pricing. But I thought this was cute. And in no way did ColourPop send me this, like, PR. This, I just bought the PR package, which you could have done. And, um... There's my Iconic Spray. This was the lighter color. I'm not sure if there's any shade names. I've used this once since I got it in September's box. But I think I'm going to use it more. And, oh. Here is my palettes. And I'm going to show them to you guys. But I'm only going to get rid of one and this is very sad of me to do but I am gonna keep it for um look wise purposes but this was the first palette that I ever got and sadly it is old and it smells and you can see which ones are my favorite that rose gold near the end here that one is my favorite color and I'm so sad that I have to get a new one because it just, it smells really awful. But these two should look familiar. I just got these, these I Heart Revolution. Oop, they're upside down. I Heart Revolution Rose Gold Chocolate. I'm keeping the chocolate orange. I am keeping, I just got them. Um... Well, I lied to you guys. There is another palette I'm getting rid of, but I'll get to it. The Frida palette. I'm excited to start working with. This was a um, Ulta Beauty collection. Um, I'm excited to work with it. My Cream Contour palette. I got that. It's been almost... 
almost a year and it says the shelf life is 36 months so that's pretty cool and I don't remember exactly how much this is but I think it's like close to ten dollars and I got it for like three or four dollars with a coupon from Kroger cuz your girl's always looking for deals guys um let's see I'm on the fence about this tartiest pro glow and blush palette only because Like, I think that top one there is a highlighter and then um, a bronzer. But can you see that sparkle in them, guys? Like, that one really light colored under the bronzer, is that looks okay for me to use. But I am not into, like, and that purpley looking one, man. And that bright hot pink one does not. And then dark, this one here. I might be able to use it as an eyeshadow. That might be good. But I just, I don't know. I'm going to use it and see. And if not, I might pass it to my sister. But I do like that. The packaging on it, it's pretty cool. Because then these folds can go back and you can hold it. But I'm going to work with it. You know, that's what BoxyCharm's all about. My Baby Got Peach palette. I haven't used it yet. And I... I need to because I fought so hard for my, ooh, hello, mirror, for my fiance to buy it. I want to get the whole collection, guys. Like, I love peachy colors like this and stuff. And they had, like, the right color peachy blushes for me and whatnot. I really need to get the whole collection. And I keep looking, and it, it's $75, which is a lot, which is how much that costed. But I do want to use this. Then we have my BU Naturally Hello Tarte Palette. I got this in the June one. And I have used it quite a bit since then. As you can see, I love doing looks like this. Like one time I think I used like all of these shades in one eyeshadow look. Maybe I'll try to do that again. <laughs> That'd be fun. And is it just me, or does all Tarte stuff smell really good? This is another Tarte palette. Not really a palette, but it's a highlighter thing. I keep in my palette stuff. I got this free... Well, no, this wasn't the free gift. I forget what the free gift was. But you had to spend, like, some odd dollars to get it. And this is what I bought. And I'm really glad I did, because I love this color. Like, they look similar to the other highlighter shades that I got but I'm keeping it I forever and the packaging on it guys the packaging like really cute this storybook cosmetics like I love it I did swatches on my Instagram um if you guys want to see that I'll put my Instagram handle in the description below the Violet Voss Essentials. We got this in a boxy charm, and a lot of people weren't happy about getting it because it's really you can only use like three to four of the shades to make an everyday lookish from it. And I need I've only actually well I did use this, but that black is what I've used most for eyeliner because it's like the only black eyeshadow I have. This Butter London palette. I don't like it. There. I shouldn't have swatched it because as soon as I looked at it, I was like, eh. I shouldn't have swatched it, but I'm going to try to um, get rid of it somehow. Um, I just don't care for it. It's nothing like, bam, you know. It's really hard to um, blend out. They don't really work well. They just, it's... <clears throat> In my opinion. So that is going goodbye. And then my Sassy Sienna's palette. I love this one. Like the pictures that BoxyCharm showed for this didn't do it justice. And this color right here, this really bright one, isn't as bright in person. Like, and neither is the one on the end. It's not that dark in person. It's very deceiving on camera, but, and I feel like 
these two shades, even though they don't look similar on camera, I feel like they are. Does anybody else feel like that? Let me know. But I really wish I got the baked browns, which I'm going to try to get the baked brown one. But I like that one. Celestial Thunder. We just got this one, so... A lot of people don't quite care for this either because it's just all pops of color really. It's hard to make a basic look out of it. But I think it just gets you out of your comfort zone. Really. So keeping it to try it. Then my Park F Princess Chisel Palette. I love this palette. I've only used it a few times. And man, as soon as you open it up, it smells so good. Is that just like Tarte Signature scent? Like, I don't have very much experience with Tarte, even though it looks like I do. But I just don't. Like, both the palettes I have, the eyeshadow palette and this, just smell really good as soon as you open it. It's like, bam. But, yes. So... Oh, I forgot to show you guys what was in my drawers here. I just have all my hair ties and stuff. And then down here is more hair ties and some nail polish. I still need to put more in here. But that's all that was in there. I wasn't trying to hide anything from you guys. Then over here, past my lips, the brow bar I got. And the um, blush illuminator that I just got in a boxy charm today. But that is everything. Like, that's all the stuff that I'm getting rid of or giving to somebody else. And then there's all my stuff that I need to clean up. But, anyways, thank you guys for joining me for this little declutter slash um, my makeup collection video. Thanks, guys, for watching. And if you're not already, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. If you do. Alrighty. Thanks everybody. Goodbye.